It is the sound that can mean the difference between life and death during severe weather. But the wave of storms we've seen this month have exposed a flaw to that warning system. KOCO's Ariana Garza has the new concerns before the next storm hits. Box is all that's left of Purcell's old tornado siren system. Lightning hit the antenna to it, frying it, and the replacement couldn't fix all the sirens before yesterday's touchdown. The best thing that can be done is everybody get a weather radio, and when the National Weather Service sends that alert out, it'll hit their homes personally. At Anchor Air Force Base. Emergency managers say the sirens aren't always reliable, even when they're working. Outdoor sirens. Are simply that. They're outdoor warning devices. They aren't designed to make sure that everybody hears them in their homes. Since sirens are so expensive to buy and then maintain, many areas of Oklahoma don't even have them. Even Bridge Creek, hit by an EF3 tornado on May 6th. By the way, you can also get portable radios like this one that's battery powered or even crank powered. Now it is important to point out that Purcell did do a test of all of their radio or all of their sirens, excuse me, this morning, and they are all working yet again. Reporting live tonight, Ariana Garza, KOCO 5 News. Good to have a couple different ways to be covered, Ariana. Thank you.